Welcome to Project Stargate, brought to you by Central Central Intelligence. The purpose of Project Stargate is to provide an overview on remote viewing, focusing on definitions, operations, management, participation, benefits, primary and secondary methodologies, categories of taskings, types of targets, and operational methodology. The mission of Project Stargate is to provide feedback resulting from customer taskings in support of analytical and or operational requirements. Definitions Psychoenergetics is a mental process by which an individual perceives, communicates with, and or perturbs characteristics of a designated target, person, or event remote in space and or time from that individual. Psychokinesis, physical actions performed by mental powers that cannot be explained by known physical means. ESP or extrasensory perception and telepathy, perceptions which cannot be explained by known sensory means. Remote viewing, the acquisition and description by mental means of information blocked from ordinary perception by distance, shield, or time. A remote viewer is a person who perceives, communicates with, and or perturbs characteristics of a designated target, person, or event. Remote viewing is accessing information without the use of the normal five senses, information from other people, logical deductions, or direct connective implementation of electronic or other devices. Remote viewing is a talent which is inherent to every human to some degree. It is probably a vestigial form of self-preservation. It is largely ignored in today's societal setting. Through proper training, it can be developed to a person's individual potential. Management. Operations management consists of an activity chief, senior intelligence officer, three operational remote viewers, one intelligence technician, and one secretary. Personnel participation. Remote viewing is purely voluntary. The benefits of remote viewing, it's passive, it's inexpensive, and there is no known defense. The primary methodologies, physical relaxation, reduction of physical arousal, increase of internal feelings and images, right brain hemispheric functioning, and achieving an altered view of reality. Coordinate remote viewing, CRV, minimizes imaginative overlays, minimizes environmental overlays, and minimizes monitor overlays. Coordinated remote viewing, stage one, is islands, mountains, and deserts. Stage two, sites of quality sensory value. Stage three, dimensional characteristics. Stage four, qualitative mental perceptions. Stage 5, interrogation of qualitative mental perceptions. Stage 6, three-dimensional elements. Written remote viewing, or WRV, is phonetically and verbally oriented. There's a predictive and a search mode. Secondary methodologies include dowsing, psychometry, and clairvoyance. The categories of the taskings. Penetration of inaccessible targets science and technology information, queuing of intelligence collection systems, imminent hostilities, nuclear or non-nuclear targets, human source assessment, and personality profiles. Types of targets are geographical areas or fixed sites, personalities, or search. The operations methodology, we have a tasking sheet. There are two types of sessions, solo or remote viewer monitor. We require a project number, a viewer number, a date, a session date, and the recorded information. This is a typical page of recorded information. And this is a typical note after the recorded information. Summary. Remote viewers can be used as collectors in conjunction with other intelligence sources through our 
the Department of Defense Intelligence Community. Remote viewing information should not stand alone.